This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing card. Hi and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony and today I'm going to be reviewing two products, the iTime Rewind by Boo Kremer and also uh, Peter Eggins Snitch. Two products, then I'll be announcing the winner to last week's competition. So before we get started, I just wanted to say we're almost there, Christmas is around the corner. I hope you've had a fantastic lead up to Christmas. And um, I know that we didn't do a review show last week, I'm sorry for that. We are very busy getting out everyone's orders for Christmas, of course. And uh, because of that, we've had to hold back the review show last week, bring it all in on this week. And I hope you like this layout, a brand new layout, which I thought we'd try it in the shop window of Magic World here in Stockport or Manchester. So if you're heading by at Stockport, Manchester, pop on by into this magic shop. It's a great little location. And uh, already I apologize if uh, anybody goes back behind me, does any swear words, does anything crazy, or pulls faces uh, through the windows, because I have zero control over that, and probably I should have thought about that more before I started the show. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on to this week's review show, and let's start off with iTime Rewind. Let's cook to a trailer of this product now. Everyone has thought about traveling back in time. It's been impossible until now. With this effect, you'll learn how to turn any iPhone into a time machine. It allows you to travel back to any date and time. really hard and you start to see it, tick back. It's going to get faster and faster and faster. It's going to get so fast. It's going to get all blur. It's going to get so crazy and fast. No. A day and months are going to get involved. It's going to slow down and hopefully stop on your... Time Rewind by Bo Kremer, and uh, this one retails at £17.99. Now, is it worth £17.99? Is it a good product? Is it something you should go for? And uh, I'm just going to say, unless you really, really love your mobile phone magic, I mean, beyond belief, if you really, really love mobile phone magic, then maybe give this one a try mainly because it does look cool. It looks great when you see the clock going back in time. And it actually makes you feel like you're going back in time as well. It's kind of crazy. But uh, the most important thing, basically it goes back in time to the date that they originally chose. Now, for me, it's just, I said that a lot in the last week's review show, so I'm not going to say it. For me, in my opinion, uh, it's just a little bit fiddly. There's too much going on. There's way too many things to prepare. I cannot be bothered putting this amount of preparation in. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm all for preparation if the trick is worthwhile. But that is where I think this one lets me down. It, it does not, um, it doesn't feel like it's worth the amount of effort it is to get it to work properly. So there's different versions on here. Basically, you've got a way of doing it yourself uh, with the videos that they provide. You've got one of using a, a little green screen video. You can put your own backgrounds on for your phone and all sorts. But herein lies one issue, which I apologize. If there's a way of fixing this, just let me know, uh, Bo, because I'm sure there is. But every day, I want it to actually say the date that it actually is today. And I don't want to have to edit a video every single time to put the new date on. Uh, I want today to display today's date, then for it to go back in time without me every day having to, uh, to edit the video. Is that possible? If it is, please let me know. Um, but apart from that, 
you get different versions, you get the videos, you get everything on the disc that you need to do the effect. But not for me. I am an iPhone 10 user and there was no option on the DVD for an iPhone 10. So that was my first gripe. I was like, okay, um, I can find iPhone 8, 8, 8 Plus, 7 Plus, I mean. Uh, all these you can find, but not the iPhone 10. So um, I know it's a new phone, but at the end of the day, it's a product that came out and you knew it was coming out near then. It needed to have the iPhone 10 on it as well. And then I looked at all the videos teaching you how to edit and put your own backgrounds in and all the different things and to be honest it's pretty technical so you will need a bit of knowledge with video editing with uh, iMovie and that kind of thing and you're going to have to have a, a lot of time to spend just playing around and messing around with this so for me it's just way too much work and effort for the result where I'd much rather do an ambitious card and get a really great review I mean a really really great strong oh my god Ambitious card never fails. You know that as a magician back at home. So unless you really, really love your mobile magic, this is not my favorite trick. It might be yours. <laughs> I'm too diplomatic here, aren't I? If I'm being too kind, just let me know. Um, I'm trying to be honest, but at the same time, it's not for me, this product. So I'm just gonna give this a rating out of 10. I mean, it comes with a DVD, it comes with everything you need, just the DVD, that's all you need. Uh, and it's reasonably priced at 17.99, so you don't feel too, ripped off by spending it because you know you do get the video files you get a lot of time that's obviously gone into the project and the handling of the phone as well just seems a little bit fiddly as well it's not something that i would really enjoy doing and forcing and you know it's just too many areas where it just could go wrong i don't think it feels fair enough to the spectator if that makes sense um they can tell quite easily that you're not maybe touching the screen or whatever in my opinion again so for me, I'm going to give it a rating out of 10, and this is quite simply going to get a, uh, I'm just going to give it a 4 out of 10. There we go, 4 out of 10 for iTime Rewind. Let's move on to product number 2. Woo! Okay, product number 2. This is Snitch by Peter Egging. Let's cut to a trailer of this product now. An impossible signed card to envelope. In fact, it's so impossible, it actually looks like you can travel through time and space. Let the spectators select any card from the deck. And to make it unique, let them sign the card. All the cards go back inside the case. And just with a tap of your magic marker, the spectator himself make the card vanish. To be found inside an envelope, sealed which has been in your back pocket since the start of this trick. Well, traveling through time and space has been a dream since the very beginning of mankind. Do you believe in time travel? No. No? Okay, let's do a little experiment, okay, with a pack of cards. You can take any card you want, you have a free choice. Are you happy with that card? Yes. Okay. And here's a pen. And I want you to sign your name on the card. Let me hold that for you. So, uh, in this case, uh, here's the card. Uh, we have proof of the experiment we're going to do. Um, your card, would you agree this is the only card with your signature on it? Yes, of course. The rest of the cards you place inside the pack. And your card goes inside the middle of all those cards. And I want you to select, in fact, make your card disappear in the pack. Just yourself. I have some here. Pen. Take the pen. And I want you to take a little tap. Give a little tap on the box. See, that's the magic, the magic move here. Because right now, what happens is that your card has been gone from the pack, and really, your card is completely gone from the pack. It has time traveled through time and space. Because yesterday, I received a mail, a letter in the mail, and uh, addressed to me, and I was not able to open it until this very moment. I got it in my back pocket. Check out. Here's the envelope. It is sealed on all sides. Address to me. Inside this little envelope. I think this is the right time to do it. There's one card. You can take it out. Wow! And we're back in time. Back in time. High time rewind to snitch. Review. Uh, this one retails at £31.49 and again, is this a product 
that you will use as a worker because right on here it says the perfect effect for the real worker and the super first uh, the super fast card to envelope now Yep, it's got everything on the front cover that tells you about it. The specially printed envelope included. Now, that's a nice thing about this product. You do get an envelope uh, printed on Tyvek or that kind of material that will not tear. And that is good. It's going to last you a long time in that respect. Um, it still bends. It'll still, you know, get a bit of wear and tear on it. So after a while, I'm sure you will have to get more envelopes. But, you know, it will last longer than a traditional envelope. Then... You know, you've watched the trailer, their card vanishes from the deck that you put it into and appears uh, inside the envelope. Now, a mailed envelope. For me, you get uh, a quite a nice little gimmick inside it, which you could actually use for other things, I'm sure. Um, I know I used to have a gimmick similar to it a long time ago that did something like that. It, the gimmick itself is very useful. It's, it's well made, it does a job. And uh, there's a part in it that has been... 3D developed and printed very well though, not, not badly. It's very nicely engineered, that part of it. Then the envelope is very nicely engineered. So as an actual product, you get a good product. Um, I like the way he mentions at the beginning, don't buy Chinese copies because it won't be made as well. And, I, and I'm sure you're right there completely. Uh, first of all, never buy Chinese copies. If you do, you are very naughty because the quality just is not there. And you compare it to this and it, the quality is there in terms of that. But where I feel this product kind of lets me down. I mean, this one retails at £31.49, and I just think, is it really a worker? It may be a worker for you, but for me personally, I would not see myself going to this much... <laughs> it's not effort, that's the wrong word. I would not go to performing this, you know, a walk around very, very quickly. You know, for me, I would be using palming, I'd be making the card appear and possibly from a, um, from a, you know, card to wallet is a fantastic effect, card into envelope in a wallet is a fantastic effect, and why go to all this effort when a card can already be lost in a deck, the deck of cards put into a box, and next minute you open up your wallet and inside the wallet is an envelope, that envelope could even look exactly the same as this, it could just be an air envelope, put a sticker on it, and inside that envelope it's sealed is their card. It's the exact same effect, and you're using a method that is fiddly. It means taking up at this area, so around the right-hand side of your body, taking up this area while you're performing. Now, you do get something in it that, that's handy, and it could be usable for other things, but this thing has to be kind of clipped around into a place. That's all I'm going to say. And you do have a, a point where your hands are dropping down like this. That's all I'm going to say about this product. But you have an area where your hands drop down by your waist, and then come back up again. Now granted, that can be a fairly fast movement, but the last thing I wanna do when I'm doing magic for a group of people is to be bringing my hands down to my waist, thinking about where my hand is, trying to make sure that <clears throat> magnets um, kind of work in certain areas, and then make sure that things happen because it's a tight fit. That's all I'm gonna say again. And then, okay, the main thing, how can it be a real worker? How can this be a real worker? If you can't turn around, you, you can't turn around. People can see you from that angle, from that angle, from the back. A worker, to me, is if you're walking around the tables. You're performing magic for groups of people. You're performing magic over here, over there, over there, over there. You can't do magic where suddenly you have a, a card stuck on the back of your head or something weird on the back of your, your, your top. You can't do that. Now, I'm not going into any more detail than that, but come on, how can you say it's a real worker? I'm sorry if... It's not. It's not in that respect. Um, the only time it's a real worker is if you're doing parlour magic. You're doing magic where people are here and you have the ability to control that audience. That's a different matter. So it's a worker in that respect. But when I hear the word of worker, or certainly my belief of the worker is walk around close at magic, going from one table to another table to another table to another table. So for me, again, that doesn't quite live up to the expectation it says. Um, in terms of the reset is pretty easy for the effect. You know, it doesn't take long, but for me, even putting the card back into the deck of cards in the way that it's being done and quite slowly, it, it's just too much fuss, too much faffing around when I can just put the card back in the middle of the pack. There you go. 
give it a quick shuffle, right, I could do something else. I could make the card appear on the moon or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I will not personally be performing this effect. It's got a nice gimmicks with it. Let's, let's just go down to the lowdown. It's got nice gimmicks with it, and the gimmicks could be used for other things as well. The envelope's good. The effect, in general, is pretty cool, and um, is it worth that? It's just too much faff. Yeah, for me, too much faff. Uh, but you might love it. And if you're not doing walk around, you want to do something just more parlor or that ever, then I'm sure it's a great little effect. But for me, I'm going to give it a review out of 10. I'm going to give this a, I'm going to give it a five out of 10. Um, five out of 10. The gimmick quality is nine, 10 out of 10. The gimmick quality is great, but the actual routine, the, the trick, is just something I wouldn't personally perform. So that's why I'm going to give this a five. Uh, so there we go. That's the end of this week's review show. I'm going to stop uh, waffling on. But I know for a fact you guys at home want to know who won the competition. The one when I was on a train last week and uh, made you all dizzy while I was um, reviewing products uh, on the way to London for a gig. And uh, that's pretty much what the whole of uh, this month has been, is, is juggling gigs, running Magic World and printing and um, it's been that constantly going around in a circle. So yeah, I'm just gonna let you know that we will do a, a Magic World Review show between Christmas and New Year at some point. We might uh, skip next week with it being Christmas, uh, or near Christmas day, but we will certainly do one review show between Christmas and New Year. And uh, if we can, we're gonna do it on Haunted at the box and potentially the dice, the new dice trick, which looks incredible. Miracle Dice, I can't remember the name of it right now, but oh my God, if you've not seen it yet, check it out. It's on our website. We'll put the link down below, actually. Check it out, the three dice trick, um, which is uh, <clears throat> electronic. Magic is amazing. Just check it out. It's well, well worth it. Expensive, but a good expensive for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I couldn't help resist getting myself a set. But I'm diversing. The winner of this week's competition. This was completely chosen by Random, random.org. We put the names of the people who left the reviews on our website, Magic World, uh, on the Facebook page and the Google pages. And then we chose someone at Random and it picked two names out. So the winner of the competition, who is gonna win in a flash, and that is Peter Margaret Mikulski. So Peter, Peter Margaret Mikulski, Congratulations, Klusky, sorry. You are the winners of this week's Magic World Review Show. Congratulations. Woo! Great. We'll get your inner flash in the post. You just let me know your address. So ping me back a message on Facebook or give us a call on the main office number. Finally, the second person, or second place, should I say, is Richard Reynolds. You've won yourself an Aquatica deck of cards. So there are two prizes to be given away. Just let me know your address details and they'll be in the post right away. So all there is left to say is thank you for watching this week's Magic World Review Show. Please do click subscribe, click like, and share the review show with everyone this wonderful Christmas time. Have a great Christmas, have a great new year, and may there be lots of amazing new magic tricks in the new year. Oh, and if you go into the sessions convention, just let us know and uh, just to put, uh, yes, I'm going down below. Uh, we're gonna go, we can't wait, and we've got lots of new products uh, in the making as well. So thanks again, have a great Christmas, and a beautiful new year. Bye-bye.